Them a call for your weekend love. So them walk for beside peace. Only a night piece love off in decent love. Yo, people, welcome back to the Fix It's a Boy Nara here with Ari. We have a hypocritical guest in the building. But before we get to her, hypocritical we have a guest. hypocritical guest in the building. Oh, but before we get to her, you're calling. All right. Before we get let's, to her, no, we should show you a hypocrite. We should show you a hypocrite. Before we get to her, I have to big up our sponsor, Sharp Cut Barbers, located at Nine Brown Shop Square. That's across from the Sovereign Center on the Boulevard. That's mm-hmm. Nine Brown Shop Square, right where the entire Auto Zone parts place is right there. So, Steve. Big up your damn self as per usual. You can follow him right there. The surgeon underscore. All right. So, as I mentioned before, we have a very hypocritical guest in the Very video. hypocritical guest. She's also, she just you know happens take... to be multi-talented as well, by the way. We're talking about Sivana people Listen, in the Listen, it's not building. my fault. You can't make your feelings no, really like that. No, 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 You can't make your feelings really like <laughs> that. You have to maintain professionalism. Is that what I'm saying? No, I follow that. How do I reach, <laughs> reach another no, intro? No, hero, me say hypocritical. Because mm-hmm. in your song, nobody, man, you say, you know, on a bag of excitement. But you yeah. got a bag of excitement in other video. This, these dances and the choreography. No, that's that's quality. You know what I'm it's saying? a bag of excitement as well, isn't it? Well, it, then you it, have it's, to make it's the, exciting. You have it's to make good. the it's video worth worthwhile. Yeah. You have to make people want to watch it, don't. Which is right. Which is yeah. true because, I mean, of course, we're talking about your single, Nobody Man. Yeah. Excellent song. That, again, yes, excellent song. Because the thing is, too, you have an image of being a reggae star. Is it fair? Like, that's the title. I don't I know the reggae, the near I know. reggae I, people. I, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, near reggae people don't really like the labels because you guys do a lot of eclectic at music know, and the songs. At least I know Protege yeah. does like Yeah. It. So, but... But again, just feeling that the reggae vibe, it's different. It's it's, it's dance hall. It is, but definitely, little, but also kind of with Afrobeat and mm. a little yeah. bit pop. Yeah, for sure. So it really did fit the the video match the vibe of the song. I think but so. I guess different from what we are expecting of the Savannah that we know. You know, the bit too shy and sometime love, which is very. Was that know. the intent to give people something a bit different? I wasn't thinking about people. I was thinking about what I wanted to create and what came out naturally. So mm. when I sat down in the studio and I was working with JLL, Big Up Yourself, um, I heard this beat and I was bored of all the slower beats. You mm. see what I'm saying? So heard this beat and then I had I had this on my chest. You feel, you feel me? Like I was kind of angry when I wrote this song, to be mm. honest. You know, so I'm kind of I was, fa- I was kind of feeling a l- tiny bit petty. Mm. Not really usually good at being petty, but... You right. feel me like one of my relax, <laughs> relax yourself. <laughs> anyway, so one of my one of my friends, um, you know, has a girlfriend who thought that I was into him, and it caused a lot of problems. Wow! In the friendship, but we're not actually as close as we used to be. So it really it hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Especially since like this person knew me. And they were able to. They had my number. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And they could have talked to me. Well, I guess she chose not too and the whole thing kind of left me feeling a little bit raw and just so so the it was our girlfriend mm-hmm. who you guys were friends and she thought that you wanted her man that... yeah no 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 no. i was best friends with her boyfriend oh. but this, she was our own long before i even like thought to even like be in kingston you see what i'm saying so that their thing is like solid. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so she thought that you wanted him. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. But this is after having met me. We hung out together. And... It's just because you're pretty. And I hate my say like you feel threatened. Your chocolateiness it can be intimidating. Can you? Well. Okay, don't say chocolate again during this interview. <laughs> can you do that? No, that was a chocolate joke. So we could see what I was All right. It can be like you're you're good. You're good looking. Young woman. I appreciate woman, that, but woman. you know what I mean? Like, see past that, see a person's intentions. Mm. You feel me? So you're dipping on your Taylor Swift bag and say, I'm going to make a song out of this. I watch. I'm going to chat to them. Uh, that's how I make all my songs. All mm. of them come from real places, whether it is a real experience from somebody else, what mm. them share, or, you know, something that's happening to me. So, so it's the not person you reach out to you when they heard it? No. They, no, they won't even the think per- that it oh would my be God. Them. Okay, something go on? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got dragged on Twitter, right? Last year, December, all right? When? Tour. Oh my God. Okay, so I was like, oh, wow, I'm bringing up my own drama. Anyway, so 
I said on stage, live from Kingston, right? Coffee yeah. was there, Lila IK, Naomi, Yana I, right? We're all performing up at Skyline. Mm -hmm. And in my set, I said, because I did have on like a little chain blows and like jeans and it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't super dressed, dressed up. And I made a joke about, oh, when you have um, live from Kingston at 10, but on really fest at 11. And I pointed to my outfit because it was very much like, yeah, go rave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Um, and then some pe one person in particular took it out of context, shared it with a friend of hers that wasn't even there. And that friend went on Twitter and was just like, oh, well, my hair says seven and one. She has a whole, oh, she have a horror up and leave. And I feel like that's very unprofessional and how, um, you know, I've known her to be like this and have an attitude and from a work, on our work with her on a set and, this that and the other it was a mm. whole whole thing of things that didn't go so because he was the only one on the on that shoe that he was talking about that had that perspective like mm. the photographer on the set was just like what is he talking about so clearly it was like a personal you know personal feelings and then don't this... you just hate when people take jokes out of context i know <laughs> but anyway <laughs> but moving on like that it, it same <laughs> Sorry. but that same girl mm -hmm. the girlfriend of my best friend um ex best friend yeah. yeah, you can't say that. No. Yeah, we really don't talk anymore. Yeah. Like, it hurts me. But anyway. Um, I think our next song coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah, she joined into the whole thing and is talking about, oh, when you believe, say you're superior to other people and mm. oh, um, Twitter come for the queen. Like it was a mess of like Ooh. her kind of just, you know, joining in it and like reveling in the fact that yes, somebody else is like, Speaking negatively about this person, let me join, join the yeah, parade. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That so. tends to help my social media. Yeah. Right? yeah but it's funny how it just got misconstrued. Like, you do, in an in a age where people love to take the headline yeah. and run with it, like how, as you, as a as a artist, who yeah. people, you know, you and you're intelligent too. So you, for you. you to have such varied, wide opinions and right. people taking it and kind of breaking him down into their own BS interpretation. How you deal with that? I don't know. Most of the time it doesn't affect me, but I think this particular thing hit close to home. I didn't even care that the other dude was cussing on Twitter about me because I didn't remember him or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I, it took me forever to remember like what she was talking about until like the actual photographer hit me up and was just like, yo, you good? Like I saw whatever and I was like, oh, that shoot. Okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, um, usually I'm, I'm all right. I can look past it because once I release my art and the people get it, then it's for them to, to interpret it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But this hit close to home just because this girl I knew, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I did radar. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then just for her to kind of join in the discussion, it was just like, wow. So pe even people who have hung out with you and know you and kind of have seen you be yourself mm -hmm. will still help to like drag, you. Yeah, mm -hmm. drag you and like, you know, just sell up your name, mm -hmm. up your name. So I don't know. So for the record, this wasn't the song Nobody Man wasn't made in response to, to Mackerel. No, no, it wasn't. No. It just seemed very timely like, yes, when that whole that's, yeah, thing was going on. And yeah. Even to the whole mantra of taking people, man, mm. movement in a people dance. Man and, and all you know things. what? That's, apart from mm. You know what? That is that is um that came to my attention afterwards. Oh, okay. I was actually talking to Naomi, Naomi Cohen. Mm. And um Paradise Bomb single Big Up Yourself. Anyway. No, 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 so, no free plug for them. Big up Naomi, Naomi, big up yourself. Why they're so mean today? Like, she does. She was a great. So anyway, um, I was talking to her and she was like, wow, you know, there's actually not a song in dance hall that's talking about faithfulness mm -hmm. yeah. and promoting that is always a tech man, mm -hmm. you know, tech people Especially man from culture. Especially women. Especially from women. Mm -hmm. So, and I was like, oh. So that's when the whole thing came together. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, let's see how it does. Mm. And then, you know, Project was a little bit nervous about, you know, me, it being misconstrued as like a comeback to anybody, uh. to the people who have been kind of championing that narrative. And um, he was saying, be careful of what you say in interviews. You know, nobody feels yeah, come after them. So, mm. um, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't about that. But it's good to have so that that's perspective. So this now? How what? Yeah. Well, you just said, well, okay. No, it's just, it's just good to have a perspective. Like, if you're gonna sing about take a girl, man, uh, then I should be able to say I don't want any man, and it's fine. So, and as they say, it comes from a personal place. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That happened in your life. Yeah. But 
there's a common theme I'm getting here, like even from Sometime Love. Yeah. So another great song, by the way. Thank like you, a channel Beyonce, that. another song. So you get that enough though. I get it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I'm not singing a song, people think I sound like Beyonce. But yeah, but the, the the common theme I'm getting is like you you don't want a sometime love, you don't want a body man, like yeah. you want a real real thing. Yeah, because I failed a lot in love. Mm. I mean, okay, let me not say failed. No, I mean it. I failed. And when I say failed, I Take mean responsibility. Yeah, yeah, like when I say failed, I mean I haven't had the kind of relationship that I I've been longing for. I guess you know what mm. I mean. Like all of them, I've kind of ended. Some of them, most of them, not badly. I haven't really had that many relationships, but anyway, like all of them in, right? Have they been and your fault? Some of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've like ended. Kind of I've, 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 I ended two out of the the three. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to talk about the issues because that's, you know, what I'm saying. I don't want to make yourself seem like that much of a bad guy. No, I just feel like everybody has faults. You feel that's me? That's true. Sometimes I can be a bit of a hothead. You know. Really? You know, say so true. It? You know yeah. why I believe you because you see, you project this, this air, this are of I just get, being cool, calm, and collective. Yeah. But when you're you know ready, what? I I'm get really, a passive aggressive. But I wish you I'm get really that. Not, I get that from her, especially. I'm with definitely me. not passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah, what, whatsoever. Whatever. I'm the one to bring up the issue to resolve it. I don't do passive aggressive. To resolve it, I just no, not argue. no. I'm gonna like. Here's the thing. I don't like arguing. Mm. I do like reaching solutions, though. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So if there's a problem, usually I'll I'll take my time too to think about it. Like sit with it for a little bit to make sure that what I what I'm what I'm about to say makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I will be like, hey, so, so. Mm. Um, <laughs> I feel like we can we can I get it. I get you. I want them to be more because because it's just like, again, you you project this this aura of... I'm not trying to project anything, you know, I'm just being myself. I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know why, because people think I am, and it's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not opposing it or anything, but people do think I'm very like... Yeah, you project an aura of I'm, I'm above it all. You're above anything petty. And who are you, peasants? This like, is, it's, wow. um, it's coming to America. Like, coming, like my girlfriend, yes, coming to America. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's yes, what she yes, said. That's also that you have that. this regal you have a regal air about you. Yeah. I don't play into the regal air. Mm. I just, I just, I'm myself. I just, um. You know what I'm saying? There are certain things I like to avoid. Like if it's um, if it's mixed up, if it's drama, I don't necessarily, I don't want to be included in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because drama, not, drama, not nice. It doesn't feel good. It but don't. It but it's ever. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what if it sells. Like maybe I should care, mm. but I don't. I kind of just want to be true to myself. You know. You talk about protege. How? And you talk about a, a certain time where he tried to advise you, like staying clear. Like how else him try to make you stay clear from drama and, and type of well, thing. Well, there like. there are things that I've tweeted where he's just like, "Sev, I feel like you should delete that." <laughs> um, yeah, you know what I mean. I kind of just um, I've I've stuff I have things to say. Are you active on Twitter, too? and that's good because for somebody like yourself, she's intelligent. And people will probably that. just say and say, oh, I just want to look for him and I necessarily want to hear you, but you have things to say. Yeah. And that's yeah. important. I have, I have opinions and thoughts on things. Which is right. And sometimes those opinions are like a bit, you know what I'm saying, abrasive mm. or controversial. And those are the ones usually he's just like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe not right mm. now. Maybe, ne- you know, next year <laughs> like, or something. What, like, which, what example? Like, what do you mean? Like, oh, what's... boy, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> talk about it. What's so? What's so? But just like political things. Okay. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the things that I want to talk to you is how you, how you push out your art. Yeah. Because we live in a culture, especially dancehall, where it's constant, constant, constant. Like every yeah, three months, every yeah. six months, there's always music need to come out for people to I guess to, I guess to, to stay engaged. Yeah. Short attention span. Yeah. Yeah. How do, how you manage that? Because it feel like is. Space out super far. It is. It's true. It was a year un- until I released Nobody Man, mm-hmm. and um, I don't know. I'm trying to create music more frequently. Like this mm. year, I have a next single coming out. I'm juggling with Leela and Naomi and um, Jazzy's. Mm-hmm. Okay. So 
that something is coming in October, no, it's which is up, fairly up, soon up. after. I look you know? forward to hearing. But yeah, in the past, it wasn't. Nece- I wasn't necessarily trying to be frequent because we wanted to be a, a little bit more strategic about just the quality. Mm. And then I don't know. A lot of things happened during that time, and I just uh, there's a lot to talk about. How involved You'd is... have to ask like specific questions, more pointed questions, so I uh, can how dive into is, it. Is protege in like the 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 say of when things are released between yourself and Lila Iger? Well, he is one of the persons who, who signs off. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what so, I'm saying? Well, everything seems very strategic, like. Either like way. you post a time and then Leela post a song a time and then a collab between either Protege and Leela, Protege and you, or Protege and you and somebody else. And yeah. It seems very strategic to me. Yeah, yeah, it is strategic. So usually the whole thing is planned out and then it goes to PR and then people are like Apple and iTunes and, mm. and Spotify and, and then and they the give us a the magazine. Right, and, and then they give us a date where they can facilitate publishing some news about it. Okay. You feel me? Or like, oh, it's available on this day to be purchased. So it all works together. But he is he is very, you know, he's one of the persons who's just like, all right, cool. So we're thinking of this month or it's like it's, it's him, Claire and and Ms. Well, not so much Ms. B, but him and Claire. Okay. And then the PR people that kind of talk about, OK, well, this would be a good look. Let's try to make this come out this time and then. Mm probably and kind of predict a little bit too about when you know two weeks from when the date is shared Mm. then it'll be available to everybody and it works out well in terms of keeping the collective in the spotlight because yeah nobody um releases at the same time but it's like all right you have this and then little bit after that you have this time and and i've said it here i want to say to you too yeah other than six the indignation collective is one of the biggest things happening in Jamaican music right now. Biggest groups, movements yeah. happening right Collectives. now. Collectives. I appreciate need that. People need that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Big I up, think um, team is definitely working overtime to get things done for sure. Yeah. Because it, it feels to is it's it's a more strategic move to get the overseas ears and people eyes. involved. Yeah, because yeah. I mean yeah, it, you sorry, feel like your market finish. is here locally. Like you feel like your market appreciates. I, I have no idea. I'm mm. not going to say my market isn't here because mm-hmm. I just feel like maybe I, I have no. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, different people gravitate to different things. I don't necessarily feel like the music I've put out in the past, like for example the EP. I don't think people here really paid attention to it as much as people overseas. Mm-hmm. Mm. But um, any song can reach anyone, I guess. And then once a thing is hyped up enough. If it's pushed enough, then everybody will gravitate to it. So I, I wouldn't say, mm-hmm. yeah, I wouldn't say that it, my market isn't here. So is it that you're kind of tired of what people wanted? Like you were battling with what people wanted and expected of Savannah and yes. what you wanted to put out and what you yes. wanted to try? That's, yes, yes, yes. That's yes. why it took so long. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that. I, and, and and that's a reason for it taking long in between songs as well. Because like mm-hmm. I'm a I'm an integral part as to whether or not music comes out. Yeah. And sometimes I haven't been the best. I haven't been the most, Um, uh, what's it called? <sighs> I haven't been the most ready mentally mm. to like put myself out there after like a song. You know what I'm saying? There, there are a lot of personal things that have happened in my life, like just family wise, mm. oh, just family the whole it's personal on the personal end of things that can slow an artist down. You see what I'm saying? So is it that you went into a sort of depression though of trying? I'm to not gonna call what? it depression for sure. Like mm-hmm. I don't think I've been. I'm not gonna call it depression, but definitely I've had periods where I got several blows personal blows and i kind of had to sit back and just be like all right well how do i continue doing this when all of this is happening Mm. so when you say like is it so much so that it affected the music like with protege wasn't he like there to kind of help and yeah personally for sure Mm -hmm. but it definitely affected me feeling ready to you know be sharing music Mm. yeah so is it i'm not really i'm not you couldn't put it into words you couldn't put it into song it's not that I couldn't write. It's just, okay, you know how when you're going through something, even if you do write it down, you might not want to see people or be around, mm-hmm. be out in public for anybody to ask you any I questions. Know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like it's a not normal human thing. It's a part of the processing mm. of like whenever you, you know, endure any kind of trauma. Mm. So 
that's just what I'm explaining. Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. You did, so. Sivana? Huh? You did? Like you go out on dates and stuff? Um, I, I think I started going out on dates like last year. Ah. Yeah. That sounds like a depression, Sivana. <laughs> no, no. No. That sounds like depression. <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to. Last year. No, I definitely. There, there are some things that happen i just i'm not ready to even share it right now maybe That's one day yeah. you know i'll make a long post on my website bearing all mm-hmm. but as, as of right now i kind of just want to you know sarah have you are you past it or will it is that situation where you think you'll ever be passed but you're now comfortable to to come well i'm definitely more comfortable to come out which is mm-hmm. why like i'm here and i'm hitting the mm-hmm. ground running but um you know some of the situations haven't stopped mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying some of them are reoccurring and it's always really, really difficult when, you know. You know, Missy don't have to try this side for because my brain no, now my, I, Yeah, everybody go, I try to think about it now. Stop figuring it out because it's just like, what could, what could it be? Just because it's not, it's a, it's a personal and my brain now goes so. Oh my God. So I guess we can shift now, move to the to your your next craft, your next hat of being Film an assistant director. director. So it's, oh, is it a situation to where you you feel like or when you did the <laughs> we call it no fear yeah fear just just on the blind i didn't and do just fear. on the blind the only film i worked on in the series was fair fear. Okay. yes so because it's a, a three-part short film right it's a three-part series so it's a situation where explain it the just on the blind was worked on before i was knew about anything mm-hmm. you know what so I'm it's a continuation it's a fair much. was the, the middle piece okay to the series and is the that film the same series. thing that you did on tvj what do you mean do you remember the, the losing patience say, yeah no zero. losing patience is a completely other different thing oh. in that film i was i played the, the lead yeah, yeah i was a face i was on mm-hmm. screen kind of just taking you through the life of a regular you know jamaican young woman trying to you know mm-hmm. overcome the daily struggles i guess but that. this is a whole other different thing. Okay. What happened with that, by the way? What? The Losing minute. patience? Yeah. It's going to be back. But we're waiting on the director. Hmm. How long now? We're done nearly 2020. This was like 2017. Yeah, sometimes things take long. Good you know what I'm saying? Speak, Look how long Game of Thrones take with the production. Please don't talk about that. Please Let's don't not talk about that. Bring, that. Bring, Let's I'm start. just saying. Film <laughs> come take the break. more time. <laughs> Well, are you, you know, so I never watched the last episode. Do what? Do watch it. Is it that upsetting? Horrible. Yeah. I am so anxious to watch it. Horrible. I mean, saying so you get time like it's that's so busy. You about this. No, no, we just want to talk about like her personal. Like, that's so busy. You are like it even get that much time to watch like favorite series and anything. No, no, no. I watch favorite series. So it's just you I don't get it? to watch it all the time. So how you manage to stay off Twitter and you depend on Twitter so much? Like how you, how you avoid spoil spoilers? everything from huh? Twitter. No, Twitter easy. Twitter is just like a click. You're in the app. In order, you have, no, to, inv- you have to have. Wait, say Twitter not spoiling. spoiling. No, I, I didn't go on Twitter. Oh, oh. I, that. I didn't go on Twitter. I avoided Twitter during that time. Okay. But you know, you have to have a certain amount of hours to be able to like watch a That's whole true. series. Mm-hmm. So I haven't had hours to spare. So why you decided to take the behind the scenes role though as assistant director? Like what? What was? You know what? It didn't really happen on purpose or intentionally. You know. Um, the director, Yoram Savian, like I met him on set while working in Jamaica. And I didn't know that he was planning to work on this film. But he hit me up and he was just like, yo, I'm coming to Jamaica to work on this film. Mm-hmm. And I need casting, I need crew, I need locations. And because I had access to, you know what I'm saying, folks in the film fraternity, I was just like, all right, cool, I'll just, I'll help you out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I hit up Maya Wilkinson and then she got the cast you know okay. what i'm saying and then i was just like all right well here are the people that i think that you might be interested in for the sister role the mm-hmm. the lead the policeman blah 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 and he was like yo this is dope this is great like you've been working so quickly on this and i was like yeah man sure no problem you're welcome yeah and then um i suggested a production assistant and you know he ended up working with her with her as well and um I think up to a point when he saw that I was actively engaging and doing the work of what it would mean to be a direct, um, an assistant director, he was just like, do you want to be assistant director on mm-hmm. this? And then I was just like, ah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. 
<laughs> um, so I did have that moment where I was just like, I wasn't sure if I should take it because I didn't feel like I was an expert. Mm-hmm. But when he explained that, listen, well, you've already started the work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could just, if you really want to, you could Google what it what it's all about. And, um, you know, just be on this film. Was like, it I feel a situation like you know, to where you think that maybe yeah, directing is it? action, cut, do that over there. And it, that's that what you feel like you wasn't, of it. you wasn't sure that that's what you were able to do. And did you do any of those things? That you I did. Cut? Okay. I did. Mm-hmm. It's a cut and, you know, that's it. Mm-hmm. No more filming. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it just, it's just outside of what I do. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I feel like I'm an expert at music, at singing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm really, I, I think I'm really good at it. Mm-hmm. So film, apart from acting, I don't think I like been to school and have amassed like the years of experience that I would think somebody would need to be called an assistant director. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was what made me think twice about whether or not I was, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. up for the role. But when he explained that I, I just started doing the work, I was like, all right, well, let me ask some friends who work in film, like what it's about. And when I did the research, I was just like, all right, well, I think I could do this. Mm. So. So even along I the way, that, did you have any more doubts about... No, once I commit, I'm in. Mm. Once I commit, I am in it. So I gave it my all. So what about, what, what about the script that you enjoyed so much for you to want to, to be actively engaging before you got the official title? Well, because, because of what it was about. Like, it first of all, is a black man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then what the director explained was that he was a poet and that it was Haitian. So... I just felt like that was kind of close to home. And then the idea that it would be following the black male experience from America um, in terms of what it means to be black in America, Mm -hmm. what it means to be black in the Caribbean, the diaspora, Mm -hmm. which is where they'd be coming to film. Mm -hmm. And then us getting black Jamaican male actors. Mm -hmm. And then um, finally, you know, being black in Africa. So... Mm. I thought I thought that's intriguing. Mm-hmm. The whole thing of being black and the politics surrounding it has always been intriguing to me, especially because I'm a dark skinned black woman and and a lot in a in almost all cases, whatever I do, the question of my skin color comes up. Mm. So it's something that I haven't been able to avoid anyway. So I have had to kind of become knowledgeable on what it means to navigate the world looking how I do. So what does it mean to navigate the world looking how you do? You have to as, contend with as, colorism. As yeah. as you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to- well that, that's interesting because bring it back to music, yeah. Spice, she had her song Black Hip Black Hip that yeah. talk about um, you know, skin color and right. colorism. Like do you think that's a real issue, especially within the Jamaican Oh absolutely context? what do you mean? So what about within the music 100%. space? One hundred percent in music space in the music space in the modeling space, in the acting space, in all in industries, Jamaica? globally, and in Jamaica, mm. everywhere. You think that people fight against you or push you up because of the It's not so much as an active fight against, you know, it's more of like a micro aggression and just the institution of things. It's kind of just built in mm. and it runs itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, okay. So... We're a post-colonial country, right? Jamaica. Meaning and we're post-slavery. Post-slavery, right? Mm-hmm. No, we know how we got here. We know what we used to do here before we were, you know, free. labeled as free people. Mm-hmm. And I th- what's happened is that black people are still using that, the fact that the white man was in power, you know what I mean, to kind of qualify themselves still. We're, mm-hmm. still, com- we're still using, like, how close you are to whiteness as a way to like measure how attractive you are, you are mm-hmm. how successful you should be and how talented you are. Mm. So is that one It's of the just re- something that is, it's not even that I'm going to say that, Oh, they might fight against me one. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, it's not even as on that, that. Yeah. It's not a service as that is literally built into the system of things. So is it a situation where Nara said the chocolateness, is it a situation where you feel like he's, you know, like, what I say no, the word that's it just in my head, but kind of, I don't want to say sexualizing it, but kind of, I mean, that's a part pot, of it too. Pot, the uh, whole chocolate vibes, you know, it's food. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I know the word is in my just head. To be clear, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you're edible or that I want to eat it. Of course you have to clear so, it uh, up. Yeah, I have no, to. No, I don't. Okay. You kind of lead it that way. Okay. 
Listen, I didn't say anything about you saying I'm edible. So. Guys, let's wait. Let me remember. Because it feels... Because, again, because you don't like it because you feel like it, it's... It's just not my favorite thing. You see, to just the color of your skin and just like, oh, it, you're you're pretty for a black girl. That's what you feel like it means. Well, I don't think it means I'm pretty for a... a I don't think it means I'm pretty for a black girl. Warm to you. No, because it's like she's putting words in my mouth. Because she said no, she started out by saying like, Nara. When no, Nara, Nara said, said you think that that's what he's it. doing? That's not what I'm doing. No, of no, she's asking not. me what yeah, my, my perception, perception is. Okay, okay. Relax, not narrow, man. All right. You're shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I threw a, a discussion we have earlier, I'm going to touch it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, I just, the whole, I don't know. I just, whatever brings kind of like attention to my skin color, because it's already such a thing I have to face, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it's just, I'm over it, you know? Oh, mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's not so much that, a you like I'm personally, you know what I'm saying? It's not you. It's more of like what the decisions you're making in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, things. yeah. Mm. yeah I learned to embrace it, don't say yeah. You know, nice. No, Especially I don't want to. Overseas, you think that's a thing too? Like people, people still the call. People say, oh my dark god, skin. you're so pretty for a dark skin girl. That you find people said that to you and what have foreign people said to me? I make you feel as like, far as like my in the circle. So it's like, oh, she's so pretty and she's black and dark and yeah. I, yeah. But it's not, yeah, but it's it's not just even foreigners that do it. It's just everybody. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like, oh my God, like, wow, we've, we've never seen anything like you and blah, blah. It's, it's mm. you know what I'm saying? Literally local people, like in the advertising agencies, they'll say that stuff. Jamaicans in a majority black country. I don't know. Wow. Mm. Like, I'm, well, no, I'm not going to talk about it. It's all good. Never mind. Whatever. No, I was going to say something, you- but it don't, it don't sound good, so. Protege voice and it's a dose that. Well, that's it. Wow. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it, to hear it from you, it is because you'd feel like, well, in Jamaica, we don't really look at it like that. But I do understand do. colorism and that people tend to favor, especially men, really. Yeah. They yeah. always seem to idolize and put the, the fairer skin girls on a pedestal. Yeah. There are people, if. Yeah. If, attractive which is pretty much subjective and really based on people personal yeah. preference yeah yeah I, I don't even want to talk about what men find attractive because honestly i don't care but um it's it's more about just the system of things and just the correction that needs to happen mm. and just the limitations that are placed on just black women existing black people who look black women who look like me mm-hmm. existing and just what that means for when you want to express your art mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying the whole thing takes on a whole like political side that Sometimes you're not prepared for it because you just like, try and make some music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But then you have to be like, oh, maybe it won't carry as well or translate as well because I look the way I look versus someone else sharing it. And it, you know what I'm saying? Translating a different way. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, think, I think because in the history of music, the people who've looked at me have kind of just only mainly occupied the near soul space. Mm-hmm. That's how people think that I should operate and the thing that that's the kind of music that i should make yeah Have you know you what i'm saying there's no right from people say oh that if I'm... yeah that type of music I'm... yeah because it work you know what i'm saying you look a certain because way you just let out of course Ooh. just let out your hair like make some make stay in this stay in the bit too shy lane that's what sounds good mm-hmm. that's yeah. what you know what i'm saying that was your first thing that like, did really well stay in that that works you look the way you look it's gonna work you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying there's verses like a light skin or a white um, artist who just gets to do whatever they want. Yes, yeah, because even like even how you look, I, to I love this conversation because even how you look, as you rightly said, the perception of is you being an empress and yo yeah. sister and blah, yeah. be that really nice virginal person where yeah. a light skin person can be sexualized, <laughs> they can be glamorized. Yeah. And, but they hypersexualize dark skin black women as well. It's kind of yeah. like you you oh, but you, it's, a, it's almost fetishism in a way. Like you're a yeah. fetish, you're like some, yeah add sexual pleasure well the glamorization of a light-skinned woman it's, yeah oh it's new it's yeah it's necessary it's yeah. not necessary it's common you mm. know like it's, it's yeah common place. for sure yeah yeah Tell this is you. so nice i like having these talks i feel smart <laughs> <laughs> you are smart feel and actually being is two different oh wow it's wow true. It's yeah. True. yeah it's true here. How does that make you feel saying that? <laughs> I feel like somebody <laughs> walking my therapist. Though. How does that make you feel? No, that's what you're doing. That's how I talk to myself still. Mm, yeah, so. that's how people should talk to themselves. So you have more plans? Like, are you, as they say, you have 
um, work. A next single but coming out in October. To, like, October. Or we can expect something with you and coffee because I feel like that lane, that that whole reggae vibe is yeah. happening. And yeah. Can well, you never know. Anything's possible. Mm-hmm. Anything's possible. I say I have something I drop October. Yeah. October, yeah. It's like juggling. It's called Rock and Groove Rhythm. Mm-hmm. And myself will be on it. Lila IK, Naomi, Naomi Cohen, Cohen, and Jazzelies. Fresh okay. and clean. Fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you, you, um, may I sing the song? Lovely, I did. I did. Before the, I did. You know, I did. Not lovely. Wasn't it lovely? She, she, you sounded lovely? Yeah. Uh, the song is lovely. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just people, up you know, we just, we just want to see people sit aside and say, well, yeah. You know what this feel like? This feel like A and Nala Elga. <laughs> oh, Secret Jazzy, big up yourself. <laughs> oh big God, bad singer. I could be mean to you. Yes. By the way, was it the first time you performed at some fest? No, it wasn't the first time this year. No. That's the first time on main stage. I did it literally five years ago mm-hmm. on the Digicel stage. Oh. Yeah. Cause you, by the way, but not, and not a the really main good stage. performance, especially Thank with Protege. You. We were there. I appreciate that. it. And that was really nice. So I appreciate that. Nice. That's why I think that's why Naira solidified it. Uno, like the Ig- the Indignation Collective. It has to be strategic because mm-hmm. the more unified you are in terms of like putting out music in Jamaica, the more of an impact it makes when people are looking and they're like, oh, they're doing a thing and it looks cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got one of the bigger bigger crowd reactions of the night. It was the best performance of the night. No offense or shade to anybody. So. <laughs> I mean, claim it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Claim it. I mean. Barris did perform the night there. No, Big up no. Uncle Barris. No, no, I perform the night there. Honestly, honestly, I, shit, Sivana, I love Uncle Barris. And I respect <laughs> Bojo Bantan so much. But as far as just the, being technical, the timing of the set, mm. not running over time. True. The sound quality. True. The... the energy on stage True. and everybody coming through and it being like just representing representing and family at the right time coming tired yeah i was Rep- very yeah. fresh and i was very into it so that yeah it, it's, 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 it's yeah man it's a good message unity we're unified in reggae we're doing it we're out here looking our best it it was brilliant nice yeah and it's not because you know protege and my dad's like it's just fact, no, no hearing humility Savannah. yeah <laughs> Humility? <laughs> yeah. Humble, Savannah. Oh. A person is many things. This is true. Will I get a body of work from you anytime soon? Body of work? Yeah. yeah. Sooner than you think. I can't tell you when. Of course. But sooner so. than you think. Okay. There are a lot of big moves happening. So mm-hmm. it'll become public soon enough. I feel like you're signed to a major label. No, you can't guess all of that. Come on. I feel like Why that's I am not. I am not that. signed to a I major feel like label. Major label. I'm not signed to a major label right now. Okay. Right now, but it's happening. You don't know that. I don't know that. We don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see you on like Spotify uh, and yes. Apple and then I take, you know. Picture them? Yeah. I see. I see. I see. Can I just look. be a tour? You know? I don't know. Oh, God. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want the people to know? Anything um, else that you want them to know in terms of projects? Stop tech or? people, man. Stop tech, yeah. Okay. Stop tech. We know if it's your thing too, I don't know. If, you, if you're if into your betrayal thing, and emotional turmoil, continue to tech people, man. Suppose you're tech people, man, unknowingly. Like, you never really know self. Oh my God, that's a whole other lane. Mm. My gosh. So you, that, I won't be judged. Like, no, I feel, okay. So here's the thing. If you're taking, if you ended up, if the man was dishonest, right? And you take him and then you find out, say, he was somebody's man and he's like actively in this relationship with this other person then you decide do you want to stay i mean personally i'm not going to be a part of that but if have you, you want so- been in that situation like yeah that from experience no i haven't been in that situation oh, okay. where as far as like being a side woman well you're noble like not even side woman you're yeah. wifey but him have two wifey no sir oh, okay. never... not that i've been not aware been aware of okay. not that i've been aware no okay. Not that I've been aware. My God, terrible. Hate it. You ever give bun yet, Savannah? Give bun. You know, when I was like 19, mm. I wasn't with the dude, but I was dating him. But then there was another person that I kind of dated, and it kind of overlapped a little bit. <laughs> kind of. <So. laughs> Over. We just like we just play that. Yeah, but what? I'm glad that people are seeing this side of Savannah. This savage side. What are you talking Yo, about? Yo, play that. Oh, just overlap. <laughs> No, but okay, so he all right, so he was very attractive. Tall, 
era no, I basketball tried, you know what I'm saying to like to justify no, the hold food on, in no, this relax, no, let me all right, finish alright all right, all right. All right, so he was very attractive you know uh-huh. what I'm saying but it ended up that we couldn't he didn't have the same interest as I did you yeah. know what I'm saying and I was kind of you know I was over it I was kind of bored with him mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but then I ended up meeting this other guy now mm-hmm. who piqued my interest mm-hmm. right um, so what had happened <laughs> Was in the time of that I um, was, uh, you cool. know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I was just like, all right, well, this dude is kind of speaking my language language a little bit more. Maybe oh, okay. I'm gonna just end things with this one, and then you know, Jump so it's over like this one. Yeah, it was relationship like, popping. Like, so yeah, try to describe. I yeah, but it's not. But it, I wasn't his girlfriend or anything. Okay. You know? I'm sure oh. he has a different side of the story. Tell. <laughs> A different view. A different view of, of the <laughs> No, he, there's no way he could say that we were together. Come right. on. And then I was like 19, like. Okay. So not not coming before before 20. And that child said like, we're 19. What's a real relationship? No relationship <laughs> not come before 20. It wasn't <laughs> real. <laughs> no, I know that means it. Because I say like, you know what I'm saying? You're young. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, naive and. You see your next man and you're like, all right, well, I'm going to end this. And I did end it. You know what I'm saying? Right, so anything else that we need to know about, like tours? Oh, yeah, for sure. Concerts, I, performances? Yes, I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to be performing on the 12th of October at Bird Howard Homecoming Day. in Washington, D.C. That's your birthday? That is my birthday. So. Wow. <laughs> Wait, when Scorpio season starts again? The end. Not the end. Oh, the end. Oh, yeah, you yeah, almost... Libra. I'm a, almost be a piece of shit, right? <laughs> almost, almost. Oh my God, Scorpio I'm people. I'm a Scorpio. I do appreciate the ganging up I mean, that no, has happened. No, the men, this, this the men are a right. piece of shit. I've I've oh, had good experience wow. with. Wow, why the do you women, say that? But the men are piece of shit. Damn, why? In relationships? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you pre-sign, you pre I don't, I don't really pre-sign. I don't really give it a lot of weight. You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh. But it is interesting because I do find that people born around my time are kind of similar to me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But I don't know if you, I don't know if I want to call it Scorpio, or if I want to call it, I don't know. I don't know. October people. October people. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the October cousin. Yeah. The November. Me I talk about the November. Scorpio. I also don't feel like I have enough knowledge about it either. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a whole scientific reasoning, and I just don't. Astrology. But maybe I don't care enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mean but yeah. It was, yeah. Oh hard. yes, I am also <laughs> going to be pro- um, performing at Soul. Oh, I need to say who else is on the roster for Washington DC. Okay. So Lila Ike will be there. My. Jazz Elise will be there. Mm-hmm. Wal Shifai will be there. Okay. And myself. So hard homecoming, October twelfth. Really excited about it. Mm-hmm. Go put on a bashy outfit, you know what I'm saying? And do like my hairstyle and it's gonna be nice. <laughs> and then um in December now I have a performance with with Soul DXB okay. with Puma. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Weird. In the collective I come true. Which part? Dubai. Mad. Wowzers. Dubai. Wowzers. Mad. Traveling the world. Jeez, yeah. 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 Big up yourself your yet again, Sivan, and all your successes and all that is the forward. Thank you. Even though you, you basically... Stop. Okay, no. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Just keep right. it positive. Okay, that's true. Positive. Sivan, I know Sivan love and send our love to, to Leela Ike. Big up protege, of course. For sure. Tell them all these things. Yeah, man. All right, Sivan, tell the people what I'm going to find. Social you media. can find me on Facebook at Savannah. That's S-E-V-A-N-A. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter on a call me savannah or just type in savannah s-e-v-a-n-a and on everywhere else website um with name spotify itunes youtube just look for savannah s-e-v-a-n-a i give thanks again savannah for passing through no problem people should love lealo again i'm just joking take take you can take jokes please <laughs> please oh no All right. You want to give me a hug, Sivana? I'll so again people another you, hug. Yeah, give me a, a next hug that we did prior to this. Okay, All cool. Right. <laughs> See what? Unity. Even though she'll show semi small and short. Okay. No, that's not what I'm doing. It's exactly what you're doing, Sivana. It's okay. It's, nice. it's all right. Give thanks again, Sivana. Take care of yourself, Naro. You too, Sivana. For sure. All right. <laughs> what about me? No, my, no, Nobody my, cares my, about you. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> she knows that's not true. She has a whole fan base and all these things. Share it. She's a, she's a favorite. 
Is she the favorite? No. No? Who's the favorite? She have our horde of followers that, you know, thirst after. Are we going to talk about it? Who's no, the favorite? To, uh, We're not going to talk about it. Right? People in the comment section, yeah. yeah. She's definitely favorite with the man them. Yeah. You see me? But well, I feel obviously. like more in general, the people them rate me. Yeah. How come? Because he's mean. Oh. It's not me. It's just real. I'm real. All right, people. So that was about <laughs> that. That was a fix. <laughs> All right, cool. I long for love that will just never ever end, and I want you for myself. Don't.